Oh my god, I can't. But she stood right here. Am I not going to get in a huge amount of trouble for this? <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> Wanna sir and good evening everybody! Man with the plan, your handy garage repair man here. How's it going everybody? Hope you've been doing well, hope you've been doing great. Hey there buddy pal, how's it going? What did you do to your car? Let me have a look at the disastrous mess you've made of this with my super psychic vision. You got, oh okay, you got a busted up tire, a scratched up door and your wing mirror is gone. That's actually all the things I am capable of repairing in my little workshop, so that's a thing. Go ahead and take care of this quickly. Let's patch up your door with a bit of scratch doctor. There you go. Don't worry, buddy. I'd be pretty bummed if my car had scratched up door as well, looking like this. This is a sweet car. I'd love one of these. Look at all this mess. I didn't realize every time we repair something, it's just left around on the floor. As you can see by the piles of trash on the floor, I haven't cleaned up the workshop quite yet, but it's on my to-do list. Don't you guys worry about it. I've been working along through the night time here, gathering up a bit of money, and we got a grand. We got a nice K in the bank now, which is pretty sweet. Tighten them up. I know I'm a stickler. I have to tighten up opposites because I'm a crazy fool. And it was a mirror, wasn't it? Let's see here. Can I do this without dropping it on the floor? Hey, I did it without dropping it on the floor for a change. That's great. All right, over to here. Pop this guy into here. Smash out all this old crepe. And go ahead and pop that bad guy on there. And you're totally fine. Mm, no problem, buddy. You're never stranded with ga man's gas station open. I'm going to try and keep myself open. Like 24 hours a day, non-stop. Oh my god, the people and the pile of trash is just beautiful. How are you guys liking the smell in here? Are you are you enjoying the you, you enjoying the ambiance in here? Also, our shelves are looking pretty bare. That's gonna have to be taken care of. Let's take care of the customer at the fuel, because that's a hot thing. And that's done. Nice and quick and easy there. Let's have a chat about what's going on while we do some scanning. I lost my scan combo. I slipped up and I messed up because when I loaded back in, you'll see my conveyor belt is surprisingly clean. Far too clean for my appreciation. So I just got to kind of take it easy until it dirties up a bit and becomes a little bit easier for me to manipulate with my skills. How much stuff are you buying, buddy? This, this is why my uh, this is why my shelves are running out of space, or rather, why my shelves are running out of stuff. We don't know. <laughs> Love the sweater. <laughs> Amazing times. So I got a couple of ideas of things I'd like to be checking into today. Um, at the end of the last episode, we discovered the... It, it looks like a ramp for Rudy, and I really, really want to be running over it. Your hair, ma'am, is just... Just disastrous. Just disastrous. What are you even doing outside the house like this? So I really want to try running Rudy through that and see if that's a thing. We also discovered a, a little plateau with UFO marking on it. I want to see if I can figure that out. That's a thing as well. And also, we're still saving the poo. If you guys remember, when we opened the toilet, we discovered poo on the floor and I decided to keep it because that's how much of a hoarder I am. I want to throw it at Dennis, but I'm also wondering if I could throw it at customers and see how... What is happening with stuff falling through the floor at the moment? And see how customers react to having a poo thrown at them. I'd really like to see. Maybe I can, like, throw it at people's cars, such like that as well. It's an idea. So let's have a little bit of a look-see here. While the day is arising, the first thing I want to do, I've got to order more stock, and our quest at the moment is to order some car parts for our workshop. So let's get some ordering on the go. Car parts, uh, they're exactly the same as products. Prices change at midnight, green arrows indicate bargain, but we make profit anyway. So I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to try and stock up. Uh, how many can I actually have? What is this? Oh, okay, that's the timeline thing of how's it going. All right, that's pretty good. Oh. Let's see, we'll get a couple of tires, a couple of scratch removers, a few car mirrors. There we go. How much does that add up to? Uh, 900? Nope. 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 How about we just get a couple of these, a couple of these, and a couple of these. That's better. Go ahead and order that guy in. All right, fantastic. Back to our deliveries. I want some products on the go. Everything's kind of not really, not really doing super great. Really, I'd like to have a little bit of everything because people buy more. Oh, yes, the crisps, are, the chips away. Everybody's been asking for those. 
Uh, this and this and this. That's gonna completely clean me out, and I'm not gonna have space in the. Ah, uh, not space in the work or oh, warehouse. We gotta upgrade the warehouse. It's definitely got to be a thing to get that upgrade, because now we're gonna have to take stuff off until we have enough space to do it. Let's get rid of the chunkyo, because I think they're on my shelves. Oh, jeez. See, we can barely hold anything. We can barely hold anything. We have got to upgrade our warehouse. All right, let's get that done. Let's have a look here. Warehouse level one, what do we need to do it? Nothing. We don't need anything to do it. It costs us 450 bucks. Do it. Ah. That was the workshop. <laughs> that was the workshop that we just upgraded. I wanted to do the warehouse. How much does this require? Station level is too low for the upgrade. All right, okay, no problem. Back to here. Station level. And for this, we need the 700 bucks of which I had, but I've spent it all. Never mind. Let's go and get back to doing this. Serve this lovely lady here who wants almost a whole half tank of gas. Ah, oh, you won. Yeah, you do, young lady. Let's have a look see here. Does this change anything in here? What has happened in here? It's still a huge amount of mess going on. Got to clean this place up, but I see we have another shelf appeared over here. Let's go ahead and get this one started. I'm going to guess we're going to find more damage now. And that this is going to be a thing. I can already see the tire is gone. That tire is gone. That tire is gone. All your tires are shot. What did you do? What did you do? You're lucky that I happen to have three tires left. And you've blown three out of four. So let's go ahead and change these guys up. There we go. <laughs> Tighten that guy on there. 240 bucks. You should have given us more money for that, pal. All right, we're lucky because that was the last of our car tires. So if anybody else comes in the workshop with a blown tire, we're going to have to turn them away, and that's going to suck. Customer at the cash register here. How's it going there, lady? Love the sun hat. Still a pretty clean conveyor belt on the go. Thanks. Just two things. That's fine. Congratulations. Have a great time. Another person at the fuel is just one thing to another. That's all this. It this tiny little car. It doesn't take much fuel. Yeah, it'll do it, Neil. Very welcome. All right, fantastic. So, delivery trucks have arrived. We're going to have to open them up and get these guys unloaded. And then I want to try checking out some things here and seeing what else we can be playing around with. Let's go ahead and let these scumbags in. I really want to try running Rudy through this hoop. I think that's going to be fantastic and amazing, and I look forward to it very much. All right, car parts got to get this stuff uploaded, upgraded, guys. We need more space. Come on, come on. I, uh, I'm going to end up getting rid of this band because it's just in the way for me to get to my shelves. Come on, get out of here. Man's got things to do. Supply 66, get your butt in there. I got some shelves that need some stocking. Oh, right, there we go. So we need the station's level brought up to be able to upgrade the warehouse, and that's severely required, because I can't hold anywhere near as much stuff as I would like to do. I'm also really interested to see what the next upgrade to the gas station will be, and what it allows us to do. Gotta be checking it out. But for that, we're gonna need a little bit more money. Go on, get out of here. Get! My god, do you want to take any more time getting in your car and pulling away so I can close this place so that little scumbag Dennis doesn't come over here and steal all of the things that I've got around in here? Uh, okay, just a couple of people at the cash register, no problem. There we go. How can you work here? That's how man likes to work. There you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, what did it your car? I didn't do anything to your car. All right, beautiful. That's those guys taken care of and served out. I gotta clean my floors because it's getting a little bit messy inside of here. People are complaining about it, but that's definitely a thing. I don't know what they're gonna complain about because the next person that walks in here, I'm gonna start throwing poo at and see if I get any kind of funny reaction. That should be interesting as well. The other thing is I haven't found anything to pickpocket, uh, to lockpick even. Ever since we unlocked the car trunk for the first time, I haven't found anything at all. So I have an idea that when people come in here, I might go out and head out to their car. Because they like to park up over here. And maybe while they're in here waiting to be served at the cash register, I can go over and see if I can open the boot of their car and see if they got anything interesting inside of it. It sounds like a good idea. Oh god, somebody's here at the garage. Please tell me that you do not have a busted tire, because if you do, you're out of luck. I'm out of tires. Although I did get a delivery. You might be alright if it's just one. 
No, you got one there. And I don't have any tires. Sorry, buddy. What else is wrong? The door and the mirror I can fix, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to just let you hit the road. All right, buddy, there you go. Um, it's all good to go, except for the busted tire that you got, because um, I don't have any, so hopefully that's going to be just fine for you. That's awful. Well, you pay me for the rest of it, but you nothing else for it, I'm afraid. All right, we're going to have to get some more tires and parts ordered in as well. The day is coming to an end. That's fine. Oh, we got, oh there's a police car there. Oh, oh, my God, I have got to be trying that. Okay, hang on a second. Fill this guy up with fuel. Saver. Oh, I'm a lifesaver. You're very welcome. This police officer stood there at the at the till. He's waiting at the cash register. I'm gonna go over and see if I can open the boot of this car. I wonder if this is a thing by chance. What do you guys think? I'm gonna go ahead and get my lock pick here and see if I can Oh I can. I can open the boot of his car. <laughs> oh, what a great idea. It's gonna be about here. Oh, there was five dollars inside of it. Oh, we can do everybody's. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Come on, Skyrim skills. Don't fail me now. A little bit more. There it is. Oh, there's 13 bucks inside of there, too. Just pick-locking everybody's cars while they're parked up in the car park. What happens if they give up? About here. Oh, so close. A little bit more. Nope. Okay. A little bit less. Nope. A little bit less still. Nope. A little bit more. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. So close. Oh, come on. You gotta be around here somewhere. What happens when other cars come in here and see me trying to open this? Yes. A gazebo painting as well. Oh, I love it. Okay. That. That. That is genius. That is super, super genius. Okay, so we have to do that. When we get people at the cash register, we have to go out and try and pick their cars first. That sounds like a fantastic idea. Hi, buddy. Don't don't worry about it. I was just um out back checking stock. No, nothing to worry about. Just uh, had some things to check on, you know. Good job. All right, there it is. And we got the money to upgrade our station again. I'm pleased about that. Hey there, lady. Love the color of your car. It's a beautiful thing. Need your mortgage? You be very welcome, ma'am. Very, very welcome indeed. So those people who've moved on, we will wait for the next batch of suckers, I mean clients, to arrive so that we can go and check out if they've got anything in their boot. And we happen to have a painting that we lifted from somebody's back seat. There you go. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? Paid for it with the five finger discount. <laughs> well, good evening there, ma'am. What seems to be the problem? Do you require some more gash in your tank? Don't worry, man. I'll fill you up here in just the hot second, no problem. I am a real lifesaver, apparently. Fantastic. We've got a couple more people uh, hanging out, waiting for the cash register. I just had a gent come and arrive at the workshop. Now, I actually went and ordered all of the things, which is why we're out of money again. But I forgot to come over here and actually, like, click to place the products on the shelves. That, so we probably could have helped that guy out with this tire. Never mind. I hope he's been okay. But also, when we upgraded, we got ourselves a new thing. Engine oil. So we're going to go ahead and pop those guys down there and see... Wait. <gasps> Dennis! Where is he? Where is he? Where's my poo? No. Yes. All right, where are you, Dennis? Hey, you scumbag. What do you think you're doing? Go ahead, try try painting something, see what happens. Huh? Will you? Will you? Yeah! Get out of it, you little sucker. <laughs> Don't come back, douchebag. Or I will find something even more terrible and vile to throw at you. What happens if I throw it at a customer? <laughs> he flips me off. <laughs> Fantastic. We'll keep that poop for just a particular point in time. Uh, we did have a customer over here at the workshop. Hey, he's still here. No, 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 no. Don't go. Don't go. Ah, oh, he waited too long and he pulled out. All right, fine, never mind. While these guys are waiting at the cash register, let's go ahead over here and see if we can um, 
slice some more things out of their trunk. What do you guys think? This is now my new favorite hobby. Definitely got to be a thing here. Try using the keys rather than the mouse, but nah, it's not. There it is, success. Could get a bit of money out of that one, an intermediate here. All right, no, a little bit less. All right, a little bit less still. Probably a little bit less still. Oh, come on, so close, tiny bit. There it is, a piano. Sweet, oh, a master. Oh, there's got to be some good stuff inside here. Let's do it. See if we can get it. Oh, come on. It's so close already. Tiny, tiny adjustment to the left. And that is that scene. We got a porch photo and 26 bucks. Master lock taking care of amazing times. Now, we, our fuel is very, very low. So that's definitely a thing. Uh, we're going to have to order that in. Let's serve the peoples first. Ah. Uh, Thank you for shopping at Man Station, the only station on the Route 66 where you leave with less than what you arrived with. Bye guys, thanks very much for the piano that was in the back of your car. <laughs> I'm gonna have to see if I can like lockpick somebody while they're like stood right here. What do you guys think? Is it possibly a thing? I'm not entirely sure. What are you beeping for? Just wait a freaking second. Give people a chance to get on out of here. All right, I really need more fuel, but I need some more cashola. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pass a little bit of time just doing some jobs around until we get a little bit more money to our name. And then we'll top up our fuel, upgrade our station. Hey, watch it, you. Oh, maybe you need an oil change. We haven't done that yet. And then we're gonna throw Rudy through the ring of fire because I really, really wanna do that. Hop on out there. Hop on out, ma'am. Don't you worry about a thing. I've stocked up the inventory, so we should actually be able to help you out here today. A one. A repair. So let's have a look here. Uh, I see some busted tires and a busted door. Wait, pick up. Oh, was this? It? Can I just rip the bonnet off your car? Pick up. Need new car battery to start fixing old battery. Ooh, does, yeah, it doesn't highlight out for me, but it's definitely something that I can do. All right, close your lid down there. Nobody's in need of an oil change quite yet. Super, you're very welcome, my dear. Fantastic times. Let's go ahead and serve some people at the fuel station and uh, have a look at the goodies that we found in the backs of those cars. What, what do you guys think? Can I even do it? Can it even be a thing? I'm going to try. Do you, do you think I can actually, like... Oh my god, I can. But she stood right here. Am I not going to get in a huge amount of trouble for this? <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> a little bit more. Success, five bucks. <laughs> oh, thanks very much, man. I appreciate it. I just fish into your trunk and get my own tip. So you can literally pick the locks right in front of the customer. Great. You're great. You, you have a great day, man. You're, you're very welcome. Literally right in front of them. What, what do you guys think about this? Can this even be done? Is it even a possibility? It, it, there's a chance he's going to drive away before I get to do it. Yeah, no, it stops. Hi, hi, Mr. Policeman. How's it going? Hi, how's it going? Don't mind me. I, I'm just stood in the car park, just keeping an eye out for vandals and hooligans, you see, right? Oh, he's a master. One, two. Bye, Mr. Policeman. Have a good your time like browsing the stock i don't have that much shelves but i know it'll keep you occupied for a while i oh master lock and it opened on the first try fantastic this is great a little less there it is yeah, another 17 bucks there yep yeah, we'll get that station upgrade in no time good day there officer <laughs> Yes, I am the same gentleman that was stood behind your car in the parking lot. I wouldn't bring it any concern whatsoever if you wouldn't mind. I'm sure it's totally fine. Popularity level up. Ooh, the dust bowl sign is all clean and tidy now outside the place. That's nice. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, do you think we can do it here too? Do, do you think 
really like right in front of the policeman I can pick the lock on his trunk is it a thing yep yep it's a thing thanks officer would you, would you like to pay for your fuel now <laughs> I don't think so oops sorry that was that was my bad oh well, wait I just ran out of fuel didn't I no more fuel oopsie <laughs> Nice, look at this. Super nice and tidy looking sign. I love it. I just cannot stop picking locks on cars now. I, I just can't. I'm going to have to try it with the garage actually as well. Can I pick the lock on the car that's at the garage? Is that a thing too? Another master. Let's have a look at it. Didn't open on the first time that try. Uh oh. That's the first time I broke a lock. There it is. We got two coat racks. Oh, another master lock. Oh. There it is again. Another 16 bucks out of that one. And a swamp photo out of this one. Oh, we got so many decorations to be playing with now. Has to be a thing. All right, one more. I want to try doing it to the guy while he's parked in the garage and see if we can pick a lock in there as well. Yep. Literally right in front of her. So relax, man. This is all part of the car inspection to make sure that we're able, you know, for you to... Oh, I can't open it. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Looks like we finally found a point where it's a bit too rude to literally pick the lock of your car while I'm going to be here fixing it, huh? All right. I'm going to get back to making me a bit of money. I want this upgrade. All right, one wheel tire, but check this out. There's a thing in here that needs looking at. This going to be the oil? Yeah. Refill engine oil. Grab me one of these guys. Clicky here. Oh, wait. What are we doing here? Oh, I don't know how to do this. Oh, okay. Oh, I see what we got to do. Oh, a little bit overfilled, but yeah, that's right, I think. Do I, owe you? I just right click on it. Okay. Huh. All right. She seemed happy enough about it. Yes, yes, I know. Give me a minute. Oh, wait. How about now? <laughs> I don't think it will work. I think they have to be out of the car. Can't be opened. Yeah. Oh, but these ones can. <laughs> oh, lots of them just say can't be opened now. That's unfortunate. Hey there, buddy. Would you like some fuel? Just before I fill up your car, let me just do my other, like, you know, type of inspection here. Oh, you don't even have a boot on this thing? You shuck. At least you pay for fuel. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I overdid it a bit. Sorry, buddy. Okay, so this is now a new thing. Every time somebody comes up here to fill up their car, I pick the lock and steal from them. Every time they come into the shop to try and buy something, I pick the lock and I steal from them. It's absolutely freaking great. It's like an extra mini game for me. Just turn a little bit, hit the space bar a few times, and we can kind of get it. Look, pink cordy line. I have no idea what that is, but I'm happy. Oh, it's another master one. Oh, there goes one. It was around here somewhere. Little, little touches, man. Little touches. Uh oh. Balls. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. It's a car alarm. Oh, God. Hi, buddy. I'm running out to find out what's been going on. <laughs> it was me. Don't even worry about it. Even my dog found that entertaining. Full service you get here at Man Station. Yeah, it is. Uh, uh, nothing to worry about there. Everything seems in order. Super. It is super. The fact that I steal from you and then you pay me is like the best thing ever. I just can't help it now. This this is what the episode's all about. Old wagon wheel, two of them. What can I do with all of this stuff? I'm going to have to have a look. We've definitely got enough moolah to make our station upgrade now. We just need to serve another 10 customers. 
and we'll be good to upgrade the station. All right, sweet. So we've been scanning our products. I've been slinging gas, fixing cars, and robbing from everything that comes within a mile of this store. Literally, I've been picklocking everybody. I can't believe that I can do it right here. Right in front of them. It, it's just hilarious. I'm having such a great time doing it. I've only set off car alarms once or twice. Maybe twice in total. Come on, where are you? You're around about there. A little bit less, maybe? There you go. Another ten bucks. Yep. Thank you very much. And I can go ahead and give you your gas. Do you want a lot of it? <laughs> yeah, you want quite a lot of it. So the day hath turned in tonight. It's half past eight in the evening. We have served all the customers, completed our challenges. We're ready to upgrade our gas station again. But I want to have a look at all of the goodies that we have been stealing along our little journey here. Let's have a look. We've got another gazebo painting, a piano. Why would we not put a piano down? Can I put it outside? That's unfortunate. I can't put it outside. If I put it down, can I play it? That's my other curiosity. Does that mean that I could put it down inside of our warehouse? What do you guys think? If we were to put it down inside here... Wait, where is it? Wait, did I just throw it away? Nope, there it is. No, I can't put it down here. Okay, so it's got to be inside of the gas station. That's all right. Uh, we need more fuel. Another customer at the garage. Having to order in the for parts for the garage is one that always kind of throws me off. Definitely a thing. I've got a coat rack. Go ahead, put coat rack down. Yeah, right, why not? You can hang your coat up when you come in the store. You don't even have to worry about it. I wouldn't, though, because man will probably steal shit. It's definitely going to be a thing. What else we got? Another porch photo. We, we, we like the pictures. We've got plenty of them around. Let's go ahead and pop them there. Very nice indeed. I like it. We got throw away, but I thought that we could sell things as well. Oh, wait. Car parts? Products? Oh, is that like on my person or what I actually have? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, the pink cordy line is actually a plant. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, I love it so much. Let's turn it around a little bit so I can put it around about there. What do you guys think? There you go. And we got another one of them too. Don't mind me, guys. I'm, I'm too busy, like, decorating a little bit with all of the amazing things that I've been pulling out of people's back trunks. Because why would an old wagon wheel? Why would I not... I mean, why would I want an... Oh, it hangs on the wall. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. I think I got a second one, too. Sure do. Going over the top of the other door? No, we got a toilet sign there. That's unfortunate. That one can go there, then. Beautiful. I love it. That can hang out over there. Let's have a look-see here. What else? A swamp painting. There you go. Uh, up behind the shelving. Why not? I guess we'll just tuck it here. I thought that we could sell these things. Drum set, high snare, and the piano. We're going to end up with a little band. It's very dark inside of our gas station. No, I can't play it. I can only pick it back up. That's awesome. Look at all these things for us to be playing with. And a, a random drum snare. Sure. Why not? <laughs> Why wouldn't we? Beautiful. Alright, I'm going to continue along, serve these gents while we wait for the sun to come up. As the sun begins to rise over the horizon, in a calm, calm morning of the dusty desert highway that is Route 66, I'm still stealing from everybody. Let's see if the Popo has got anything interesting in the back of his car. Uh, here. Nailed it. No, only seven bucks. That's fine. This young policeman gentleman is only looking to get some fuel. How's it going there, officer? Let me just have a little look what you got going on in here first. Yep, just a little bit of manage, no problem. Go ahead and sling some gas here for your boss. I was worried we'd be stranded. Ah, oh, don't worry about that. You go home lighter. It's definitely a thing. All right, beautiful. Day is on the rise. Take care of a couple of customers here. We can get our station upgraded. We've been decorating our place out with all of our Incredible. pilfered items. I'm loving how we got some plants hanging, wagging wheels. I absolutely love it. Not too sure what to think about the piano and the snare drum in the background there, but hey, it was free, so I ain't worried about it. What would be really good is if I could pawn it off and sell the stuff. Awesome. It would be awesome, wouldn't it, officer, to so sell all of my stolen goods? Don't you think that would be a fantastic thing? Let's go ahead and hit our upgrade.
beautiful it looks like oh we've expanded yet again and we got a very sad miserable looking light in this corner of our gas station which is amazing and beautiful we've also made a little bit more of an expansion out in this silly kind of direction does that mean that our toilets are bigger oh, it does oh there's more toilets to renovate now I did little toilet brushes as well. God, the place still looks like all holy misery and all holy hell. That's definitely a thing. We're going to have to get those guys fixed up and expanded. I really want to be getting our warehouse upgraded. We might just have enough cash left over to take care of it. Before, we didn't have a high enough level. Now we probably can, though. Sure can. Ooh. Now that's interesting. The roof has changed and everything. We gotta have a quick little look at that. The customers can wait. I wanna check it out. Oh, that's awesome. That's super cool. Yeah, that is different. Definitely, definitely changed a bit. I keep leaving the door open. I haven't been stolen from that much. It's not even that bad. So we've got one extra shelf here that I can see. That's handy. All of this banned stuff, I really do feel like it's just in my way. I should really make sure I close this. Let's go ahead and check out what's changed upstairs, because this used to be an apex roof, and now it's halfway. Oh, Ooh. oh look at the little fire candle lanterns and ambience that we have going on up here. Pots of paint, terrible carpet. I mean, I haven't been up here since we, you know kind of woke up here at the beginning of the very first episode but that's nice it's opened up quite a lot it looks pretty good is that a fish no it's a skull all right fair enough much more redneck to have a skull on the wall instead of a fish beautiful stuff amazing we still didn't throw rudy over our little ramp and through the ring of fire so i'm gonna do that while we say our goodbyes here guys because that is all the time that we're gonna have for today guys thanks very much for coming to join me in the amazing world of gas station simulator we did a lot of looting and stealing today i've had an absolute blast doing it we've been able to rob from the police rob from people right in front of their faces while they're kind of i'm going completely the wrong way aren't i just while they're waiting for the gas to be topped up and there's us picking locks on their boots and taking all of their things and hanging it in our amazing gas station of glory. I have absolutely loved it. If you've enjoyed the episode that you've seen as well, do man a huge favor. Hit the like button for me. Let me know what you think of the game in the comment box down below. I'm having a blast playing it. It's been really, really good. Let's get Rudy over this jump. I really want to see how she fares at this. Are you guys ready? Oh, I'm ready. I hope she's got enough fuel to make it. I feel like she might have. I haven't even looked at this. Didn't even realize there was like a whole... What is this? It looks like an obstacle course or something. Oh, I'm curious. All right, here you go, girl. You ready for it? I'm ready for it. Let's freaking go. See you all in the next one, guys. Take care, all the best. And, eh. Um, hmm. I don't think it was supposed to work like that. Great.